Right, Jonas, Kian, very welcome uh, along to uh, the Big Red Bench. Thanks for coming in, lads. Thanks for having us. Uh, Kian, might start with yourself. How excited are you for the Cup semi final on Sunday? Very excited, to be fair. Um, first one, first one ever. So, um, yeah, can't wait for it now, to be honest, especially after last week, after like losing 1 0. You want to go back out and get a one back on them, like, so can't wait for it. Yeah, Jonas, what did you learn from that St. Pat's game last week? Um, well, they're definitely a team that we can get after. You know, we caused them a lot of problems. Um, probably unlucky enough to score one or two, maybe even three. And, you know, the red card probably killed us as well. So definitely looking to get back at them and get a result this time around. Never a red card, lads, was it? <laughs> Never. I didn't think so, anyway, but listen, you can't really change it now, so just got to get on with it. So does that performance last week can give you a lot of confidence heading into Sunday's game? Definitely, yeah. Um, like you can see, like we created so many chances. And then, like, they only had, th- there was literally just the one big chance, it's all they created, I think, anyway. And oh, just one w- a bit of luck maybe on Sunday, and then you'll see what happens. But yeah, very excited, and I think we can go out and beat them. You know, how important is it that you're playing in Turners Cross this week? Oh, it's huge. Our fans have been unreal all, all year, like, res- regardless of the results. And, you know, they give us that extra bit of energy. And, you know, when we hear them, Hear him screaming and yelling, and it's it's brilliant for us. So it's massive for us to be at home. And Keen, like that home advantage, like that home crowd, is like it's going to be vital if you're to, to win on Sunday. Yeah, it's huge. To be fair, like the, the advantage it gives us is just is massive. To just like even playing into the shed end, like you can see, just anytime you play into the shed end, it's like an extra fifty percent energy. Like it's it's mad. It just drags us into that end, and it's it's a good thing to be at home now. To be honest. Um, it should be a massive crowd, massive, massively exciting. Um, Jonas, you have a new manager in charge now. Richie is the man in charge. Um, what has he brought to the team in the past week or so? Um, well, Richie's been with us all year. Uh, mm. I think now maybe it's a bit better to have just one voice that we're listening to. Um, everyone's working together on a on a game plan, so um, it's a bit, a bit more of a clear message now, and everyone's everyone's after it together. So it's been good, yeah. And Kian, like Richie, we spoke to him before the match last week. He wanted higher work rate, um, more passion, more intensity. Do you feel like you delivered that last Friday? Yeah, I think so. I think just Richie, he, like I've worked with Richie since under 19 and like he just knows what to get out of players and I feel like he knows what to get out of me and I know what I need to give to him. Like So it's just good to have that behind you, like back in you and just knowing that you want to give 100%. Exactly, yeah, and he's demanding that again this week. Now, I suppose you're going to have to up that again, Jonas, uh, heading into Sunday's game. Yeah, definitely. Do you know it was it was better last week, but we're not we're still not happy with the result, and we know we can do better still. So it's good. It's a good starting point, but we just need to build off that again. Can you just looking at the season as a whole? It's obviously been mostly disappointing. Considering where you are in the league table, you've got to an FA Cup semi final. It's a massive chance to get to a final. But when you look back and you reflect on the season um, so far, what are your thoughts? It's yeah, it's been a it's been poor season, like results wise. Um, we've been playing well. Obviously, some games we've been poor, but we have been playing well. We've got very unlucky with some results, some decisions. Um, like we've missed, we've missed a good few chances. Like we've created a lot of chances in some games that we just haven't taken. Um, but I think we've just it has been poor, but we've been very unlucky. But I know you can't you can't just keep saying unlucky, but like. We we have been we have been playing well and I think we just keep if we keep playing well something will happen and just get a bit of luck. You know, on the defensive side of things, you know, if Dan Murray is part of the backroom team, obviously a Cork City legend, probably one of the best defenders the club has ever seen. Like, what can you learn from Dan? What has he been teaching? I suppose in the past past week. Uh, a lot of little details. You know, a lot of the goals we concede are it's it's small things that happen, and you know he he can, you know, help us see those details a bit better in video and in training and that. So. It's huge to have him on board. Uh, and Kean, um, just looking at St. Pat's, and you obviously got a very close up look at them last week. Although I expect them to be quite different on Sunday, where are their strengths? Do you think when you look at them as a team? Um, I think their strengths would be maybe like out wide, and then maybe getting balls into the box from crosses. Obviously, Forrester's Forrester, and I think Anto Breslin is beyond their sets. So, so like balls into the box even out wide as in Mulraney um, Mulraney and I think it's Dial is on the other side mm. like they're they're two good players so like we just have to we just have to get on a training ground this week and just work on work on out wide and defending like get it tight compact and stuff like that but um, 
yeah, I I think we'll be well able for it. Um, listen, we have we have advantages going forward as well, like so. It'll be it'll be a good game. Obviously, as a winger, your instinct is to get forward as much as possible. But on the defensive side of things, how hard do you have to work on that? I suppose yourself in training, and how hard do you think it's going to be uh, from the defensive point of view on, on Sunday? Um, yeah, it'll be it'll be tough. But I played I played wing back all last season, so I'm I'm well used to it. Like I I know where I have to be and when I have to be there and how often I have to be there. So. So yeah, it is tough, but listen, it's part of the game, and you have to enjoy doing it. So mm. and I start, I'm enjoying doing it. So yeah, those long throws are an absolute weapon. Um, do you practice those in training? Uh, oh, like <laughs> only once or twice, but I've had it. I've had it all. all yeah. right. my brother had a long throw, so that's 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 how I have it. I don't know. I didn't practice it or anything <laughs> when I was younger. It just I just naturally had it. So um, yeah, no, it's they're good to have. They we've got. I think we've got. Maybe three goals. It's mm. Keith's movement is good, like so. It's um, they're handy to have. To be fair, and Jonas, you know, every time we get a throw, and you have to, <laughs> you see King get in the ball, you're like, I have to go forward now. Yeah, that's it. It's almost like another corner. Yeah, you know, it's almost it's a good it's a good chance to score as well. So ball comes in. And it's hard to defend against that. Imagine, it is, isn't? Yeah, I know the ball loops in, and you get a flick on it. Anything can happen. So, mm. um, are you confident, lads, heading into to Sunday's game? Confident, yeah, very confident. We can we can definitely win. Um. Like we knew even last week, like you could see how many chances we created. Like and just we can take one or two of them, and like you never know what happens. And Jonas, you're obviously confident as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially after last week, so you know we can get at them. And obviously, cup cup is a different story as well. It's one game. You know, anything can happen. And you know, if we put everything into that game, and I expect we will. I'd see we we can come out with a with a win there. And Keen, what's the message to the supporters ahead of Sunday's game? Just get get down, get down to the cross. They, you can see, as I said, like it just drags us, it helps us an extra fifty percent, hundred percent. Like, and we we know that we know they'll we'll, we know they'll turn up because they've helped us through the season. Like, and they were there last season, they're there every season. So we know what they can give us, and just get down and we'll, we'll put on a big performance. Excellent, lads. Wish you the very very best luck on Sunday. Thanks, Thanks very much. much.